this court has given us um, probably since about noon the break about an hour hour and a half even to discuss the matter mm -hmm. and uh, we've discussed very very thoroughly I appreciate the fact that on two occasions in the last hour and a half you have taken the extra time to let us confer and also to discuss the uh, pros and cons of taking the stand. Uh, just now, after we talked over it again, probably for the third time, uh, Mr. Fako wishes not to take the stand. Oh, I see. Okay. It's her decision. I just wanted to make certain, especially after you requested uh, that we discuss it a uh, second time, uh, that you had the opportunity to talk to her again and advise her of her rights. Uh, so with that then, uh, ma'am, uh, you're choosing not to testify. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you for the extra time. Your Honor, it's a huge decision to make. Okay. Um, and I really needed to, to think it through. So. Okay. And we just want to make sure that that decision is yours and you're making it knowingly, voluntarily, intelligently at this time. Is that correct? Yes. All right, very good. Then she's waiving uh, the opportunity to testify. Thanks, then what we'll do is um, we will have her be seated. We'll have the jurors come in. Will you have any other witnesses? No, you're right. All right, very good. Then I'll tell them that you have rested and we'll go from there. Okay. All right, we're ready for the jurors. So I'll ask you, Attorney O'Brien, you can bring them in. And then you can just formally rest in front of the jury. Fair enough. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You can have a seat when you come in. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks. Everybody else, you may be seated. Uh, just as a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we did take the opportunity twice to sanitize and disinfect the courtroom while you were on uh, recess. It's now 1.45. Uh, Attorney O'Brien, any further witnesses? Your Honor, at this point in time, the defense rests subject to the introduction of any of its few exhibits. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, then with that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, testimony and evidence uh, has concluded at this point. Uh, what we will do is we will plan on closing arguments to be presented to you Monday morning beginning at 9 a.m. Is there anything that the state of Ohio uh, would like to remind me to discuss with the jurors at this time other than the standard admonitions? No, Judge, thank you. All right, thank you. Attorney O'Brien? The standard would be fine, Judge. All right, thank you so much. All right, so uh, again, we appreciate your patience so much over the course of the last seven days. Uh, so what we'll do then, we will all begin to prepare for those closing arguments Monday at 9 a.m. I want you folks to know, especially our alternates, and there are three of you now, uh, sometimes what we do during deliberations is sometimes alternates stay in the building and sometimes they don't. Uh, during deliberations, in this case, you will stay in the building separate and apart from uh, the main panel of 12, uh, just for a variety of reasons. So I just wanted to put you on notice of that. You will be kept separate, but in the event that you would be uh, called in, we would have you here on site. But in any event, I will see you all uh, Monday morning as a reminder. You are not permitted to discuss this case amongst yourselves or with anyone else. You are not permitted to do any independent research. No one is permitted to have any contact with you or discussion with you or reach out to you in any form. That includes on social media, any type of internet access. You are not permitted to read any materials in any form or manner. Does everyone understand that? All right, and I know that you folks have been uh, very cooperative. We appreciate that. We appreciate your patience. And I will say, I think last Friday I thought uh, I had said to you we would be done with testimony, I think, by Tuesday. So for now, we seem to be a day ahead of schedule. Uh, so thank you. I will also tell you, uh, in light of the fact of the current public health setting, and we know that I think as of today, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Franklin County has been designated now as a purple county. I hope that you all are safe over the weekend, uh, that you distance, and we hope to see you safe and healthy on Monday morning. With that, have a nice weekend. Thanks again.